Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new series on the new Lost Ark DLC. Now, I realise I am slightly late to the party on this one. I had intended to start this on the day that Lost Ark released, but I ended up being relatively busy, so this is the first day I've had to actually be able to take the time to spend any more than a quick fly around the map to look at it, which is what I have managed before this. Uh, I need a rock. Right. Uh, so for anyone wondering, I've spawned on, I think it was Gloomy Coast South, so round the bottom corner of the map here, nearish the desert, which we may try and take a raft or a canoe over to. Is there seriously no rocks here? Okay, this is going to be fun. That looks like one under the fibre there. Hey, there we go, we got a pebble. Uh, pickaxe, there we go. Already got two levels. Wow. I really need to take my XP off of 1.5 times. Uh, right. There we go, that'll do for now. Uh, I forgot to learn Hatchet, didn't I? Yep, genius. Right, okay. Off to a cracking start. <laughs> uh, my usual run of these. Uh, right. So, my intention with this playthrough is to try and do everything available on the new map, so if there is a new boss fight, I have seen, uh, so that'll be interesting to see what that looks like, uh, would like to get to that. Uh, I'd like to try and find all of the available caves, with or without artifacts, just kind of explore everything that is on the map, I need to actually make a hatchet, not just run at a tree with a pickaxe. Uh, hatchet. Gloves. Uh, that'll do for now. Right, uh, so let's get a hatchet crafted and a spear. Uh, and yes, I do have Lethal's Reusables mod, uh, along with the various other mods that I usually just have. Uh, let's slot them in. There we go, we can actually have decent wood. So I've got like a stack mod, uh, I've got the Arc Editions mod, uh, awesome teleporters, I think. Yes, I did keep that one on. That's just basically because between the combination of the death recovery mod that I also have, which I think for some reason is down the bottom, yeah, yeah the personal grave, I just end up using that with the fast travel feature as a way of teleporting, so it's just like, well, if I'm just going to do that anyway, may as well just have another mod that gives me a slightly more expensive, but therefore slightly more balanced way of doing the same thing. Uh, and then, of course, we also have Dino Storage, because it's basically just cryopod system, but better, and yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's basically just various quality of life, so I still can't attach that to the reusable spear. Oh, well. Uh, right, so let's get some hide. Oh, that's a 150. Oh, well. This map is meant to now have the correct weighting, so that it's like Ragnarok and Valguero and that, where it has the favoritism towards the higher level, yeah, well, weighted towards the higher levels. Uh, can we kill you before you fly? No. <laughs> Would have if I got the other headshot, but I'm not quick enough this morning. <laughs> ah, there's the other dodo. I knew there was more than one. There we go. Right, there we go. Got some hide. Let's see if we can make some cloth. Now, uh, we can. Right. And then we need more fiber. That is easy to sort. Right. And there we go. Yeah, the last bits. Uh, Okay, so let's have a little look. Spyglass, definitely not want that. Bed. Um, Ultra and Pestle, definitely. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, campfire, definitely. And that's probably all I need for now. Right. Let's put on the cloth. There we go. And 
hide the hat because I hate it. Oh, let's reset my things. Oh no, I just put them the wrong way round. Okay. There we go. So I believe clap is the new version of light. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's just the same one. Right, there we go. Okay, so they renamed the light emote to clap. Fair enough. Uh, right, let's have a look what else is down that beach. So there's Carbonimus there. Um, and Ichthyornis. So yeah, I'm not going to go that way because I hate those things. That'll be all the berries and meat I own gone in seconds. So, um... Let's try and have a look around for a good spot to place some kind of, you know, basic hut, I guess. Uh, try and head towards the west, I think, provided I have that the right way around. <laughs> I rarely remember those, so uh, who knows. Someone will yell at me, probably, if I get it wrong. Oh yes, and then I realised I never actually finished, so my goals with the series were to so try and beat the new boss, uh, explore all of the sort of caves and things that were new to the map, try and find all the artefacts, explore the whole place, uh, and obviously tame at least one of all of the new creatures. Wow, that was just appalling. <laughs> to the map. Um, yeah, although I think I might get more than one, just trying to see whether you're not breeding them much is of worthwhile, because they all seem relatively decent creatures from briefly playing around with them a bit. Um, the one I actually ended up using the least <laughs> was the Dinopithecus, so I'm unsure entirely how well that one would work, but seemed a decent all-round creature. The Margosaurus is definitely a fair bit of fun, and the Cinema Crops is a game-changer. Uh, particularly if you can get it fairly early on. What? Oh, okay, I did still hit the tail. <laughs> and there we go, we have another level. Although I think I got that off the dodos a minute ago. Yeah, I did. Uh, let's go with more bait. Uh, and there we go, bowler. Right, uh, and I guess I can also get bow. Yeah, may as well. Right. Oh, there's a ziff. <laughs> Just see it flopping around in the background. Uh, so I need more fiber. Yeah, I just need more fiber in general. Right, let's collect up a bunch of fiber. Because, um, yeah, some of the new creatures would be quite interesting to see if, you know, you can use them in any way for uh, the new boss fight or possibly some of the boss fights from the old maps. Uh, I may try doing that probably in a different save. Um, like some of the old videos I have with uh, using Mantis when they were made breeding capable. Um, be interesting to see, you know, can you use like a Dinopithecus army or an Amargosaurus army against any of the bosses? Uh, these are all things I'm willing to possibly try out if there's an interest in me doing so. Uh, let's see, what am I missing? Thatch. I say missing, yes I know I can craft a few arrows, but 16 is not going to last all that long. I would like to try and make at least 50, which is the durability of the bow. Because, yeah. Uh, except there aren't actually going to be any thatch trees here. Ah, here we go. Because, yeah, th th this is all bamboo. It's, you know. Oh no. Okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, disregard what I was about to try and say. I was going to say I think it's bamboo. Because I know on some of the other maps, yeah, you get the shoots like this where, yeah, you harvest them as fibre. But I guess the um, thicker pieces do actually count as a tree. Okay. Never mind. I am incorrect. Right, uh, bow, and let's just make 50 arrows, because if you look, the durability of the bow is 50, and since it's a one-to-one -one durability per shot, there really is no point in having greater than 50 arrows when you're using a bow, 
I mean, obviously you can craft a second bow, and then maybe you want to make a hundred arrows, but I really don't see the point in having more than the durability of the bow, because you're not going to be able to fire them. Unless, of course, you're going to be repairing the bow, but to be honest, most things that you're going to have to break your bow to kill, you're not going to be fighting for that long. As you see, you get the arrows back, so I'm going to be, I'm already got more arrows than I have durability, so it doesn't take that long. Uh, right. I'm slightly worried whether or not I should go inland and try and find somewhere interesting to build, or continue heading along the coast so I can be a bit closer to the section of the desert that the cinema crops spawn. So I have less of a uh, journey by raft or canoe. Oh, another level in stamina, level 15, and there we go, we can now have hide armor. So let's make a set of that, as we should have yet more than enough stuff for that. Uh, I'll just keep moving while it crafts. <laughs> Ah, rain stopped and my frame rates returned. Lovely. There we go. Uh, let's just put that all on. We'll keep the cloth just in case this all breaks. Uh, so I feel like if we can get up there, there's probably a decent chance of metal or something. But I mean, I know from what I've seen, resources are fairly plentiful on this map. You've just got to kind of find the right spots but there are a lot of them dotted around. Oh, hello. Ooh, you're cool colours. Okay, that barely hits foot. 20. Oh, okay, you both suck. I thought you were dead. There we go. Lovely. Oh, more hide and meat. Excellent. And there we go. 150 stamina. Much better. Uh, do you get anything interesting? No. Raft. Uh, large storage box. Okay, stuff that I don't really need right this minute. Let's grab some more water quick. Oh yes, Gatcha Claws. I forget that it's Winter one Wonderland right now. Though I need Raptor Claws first to make any use of them, so... Need to wait till night time. Maybe we can get some stupidly OP loot on the first few episodes. <laughs> that being said, I don't think they actually did that good of a loot last year. Although I remember, I think it was two years ago, where you could pull some really ridiculous stuff out of the uh, Wrapped Claws drops. Right. Let's have a look at the lay of the land. So that's more jungle and the green obelisk up there. Up there is probably, you know, scorpions, saber tooths, and metal. <laughs> Over there seems to be a Plains area? Th oh, we're kind of below the redwoods, aren't we? Yes, yeah, so that's sort of plains area. And then just below us is the desert. Okay, so this is probably the shortest crossing point to where I want to go to try and get cinema crops, so probably somewhere around here is a good idea to try and set up some sort of. Uh, basic starter shack. Uh, so let's have a look. Do I want to make it right down the end of the beach here, or a bit further up, where I might be closer to some degree of resources? Hmm. I mean, there are resources here, but I'll use them all up in <laughs> making my floor. Uh, well, no, my harvest rates are a bit better than that, but you get the point. It won't last long. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah. Hmm. Is it like uh, river rocks? Not really. Hmm. Look at that coral. Alrighty, let's head further up the beach then. We'll try and set up some sort of little basic starter shack to end off the episode, probably. Uh, then next episode we'll probably uh, probably canoeing will be safest because I don't think lead sixthists go for canoes, whereas they will go for a raft. So I could be in trouble that way. Um, so yeah, I'll probably try and get a canoe over there. Um, I know it is technically a Genesis 2 engram, but I can unlock it due to S+, plus allowing everything to be learnt on every map, and since the resources are available, I... you know, don't see the problem. It's not like I've got to spawn in a resource that isn't on this map to make it. You know, it's all there, it's just wood and hide. Uh, yeah. Plus, I remember hearing something about the Genesis 2 and Part 1 engrams are learnable anyway on any map if you own the Genesis Pass. This might be incorrect information, however, so do not quote me on that. Let's have a look. Ooh, we can get up here. Okay, I'm going to keep running out of stamina. Um, just stop and eat a bit of a few berries. There we go, right. Come on a mess. Uh... <laughs> That's a pelicornis. Uh, would here work, or would it be better to be further round? Hmm. I think down here could actually work. Because all I want is some sort of little basic, you know, hut <laughs> that can just have, you know, a smithy and a storage box and things. And a bed, obviously. Um, yeah, we can make a little make a little hut here on the edge of the cliff. That could look quite nice, I think. So, yeah, let's, um, let's learn the necessary engrams. Uh, do I go for thatch or wood? I have... I am now high enough for wood. Yeah, let's go with wood. So let's get this plus wood foundation. Uh, can I get double door yet? No, it's down there. Okay. Uh, so we'll make it without the door for now, because I'd prefer the uh, double door. Uh, right, so where is S plus ramp? There. And wall. There we go. I'll do for now. Can learn extra engrams in a moment, so let's go one. That is all I can make. Right, excellent. More wood. What? Okay. Um <laughs> Something weird going on with the lighting there, uh, with my hand. Uh, yeah, just 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 there. Interesting. Temporarily turns to rock. <laughs> okay. Uh, I won't question. <laughs> Wildcard surely knows what they're doing. It was deliberate, they assure you. That'll do. Right, let's make a ramp. I might need a second one. Uh, we'll see in a second. Uh, we'll put it there. I remove the uh, the foliage rowing in the middle of it. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, Switch it to stairs. I just need a second one on the 
underneath so it's not floating. And then, yeah, we'll make a double door. Okay, right. Time to start making walls. Wait, hold on. Six levels. No, okay. I gained a few. <laughs> uh, 200 health. Let's keep going to 300 eventually. Right. So, back here we want double door. Uh, there's window. Window frame. Uh, there we go. S plus one. Uh, Slope wooden roof. There it is. Right, and then we were at high enough level, yeah, for refining forge, smithy, metal pick, and hatchet. And then next level we can get trank arrows. Alrighty, uh, let's see then. Uh, I'm at 13 walls, let's start by making five windows. Uh, and I guess nine walls will do. I'm gonna have to be getting so many resources, this is going to hurt. <laughs> he hello. This is going to take a while. Let's see if we've got probably one window there, window there, window there, window there, and window there. Yeah, that should look alright. Yeah, okay, right, need a few more resources, and I am starving. Okay, uh, berries. Oh, of course, because I'm trying to heal a huge amount. Uh, meat's almost spoiled. Actually, let's just... Make campfire. Do I want to do that? I'm trying to use up so much wood at the moment, it's probably not worthwhile. Uh, right, okay, I will go and get more wood. And there we go, Wrapped Claws has arrived, although no clue where. Probably not going to see him, this map is huge. Okay, there we go, so we should now have everything that we need to make the last bits of this house. Uh, so there we go, there's the walls in, and now we just start placing the ceilings. Which hopefully I've crafted enough of. Yes, looks like I have. Excellent. Oh, and the door. Helps if I do that. It is generally nicer to have a door. And there, yeah, let's make a refining forge. Why not? Ow. Um, uh, ultra pestle, bed. Uh, should be everything we need. I did decide in the end that I would make a campfire. Oh, there we go. Um, Wrapped Claws has finished. Uh, no idea where he went over. Uh, right, let's take the spot meat. And uh, there we go. We finally have some cooked meat. Uh, I can finally uh, feed my character properly. Right, let's see. So, ceilings, door frame. Door. There we go. Right. Uh, right, let's actually place the ceilings. Uh, we'll put the refining forge 
Well, I was going to say there, but I guess I had other ideas. Um, go, uh, get Smith. Uh, that's poking out through the wall, isn't it? No, no, it's not. Okay, right, that's fine. Uh, right, let's see, and then bed. So we can now respawn here. Water and pestle. In which we should already be able to make some narcotics. That requires me to actually learn that engram, which. Yeah, helps massively. There we go. Uh, and yeah, there we go. So that will probably do for an episode. So yeah, um, first day we've got ourselves decent amount of stuff, a nice little hut to um, begin gathering all the stuff we'll need to uh, thrive on this. Uh, well, I guess it's just an island, the same as the first map. But yeah survive on this island but, uh, yeah so I hope you guys have all enjoyed um, hope you guys are also enjoying this new map I certainly am it seems quite good uh, that's just really appalling praise isn't it <laughs> it's an amazing map um, they've done a really good job like graphically with this map and I just hope that the gameplay is as fun as the visuals so yeah Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you did, uh, leave a like, uh, possibly considering subscribing if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one.